Raiders are essential machines used in the construction and maintenance of roads. Whether it's the mining, agriculture, or road network sectors, our modern-day society has been using graders for the past 140 years. Graders need to be extremely heavy and powerful, so whilst most vehicles are trying to lose weight, graders are trying to gain weight. Sit back and enjoy as you learn about the 10 strongest graders in the world. Welcome to Crazy Amazing Things. Number 10. Case 855B. Kicking off our list is the 855B, made by Case Construction. Something you may not have known is that Case Construction have been building construction machines for the past 180 years. Back then, their machines were steam-powered. This strong and durable grader uses an FPD diesel engine, more specifically the turbocharged dev 4 he 9684 l this is a 6.7-liter, .7 six-cylinder engine that puts out 237 horsepower and 984 newton-meters of torque. The grader weighs 18.7 tons, and it needs to be that heavy in order to apply 10.1 tons of downward pressure on its blade. This grader features a direct drive transmission and gives the operator the ability to switch between manual and automatic shifting. In addition to this, this grader can be ordered with an all-wheel drive option, giving it even greater traction on difficult surfaces. Number 9. SEM 922 All-Wheel Drive Built by SEM Machinery, which is a brand of Caterpillar, the 922 is a 16.5-ton grader. It's most commonly used for work on railways, mining, agriculture, and highways. The 922 is powered by an SDEC 8.8-liter six-cylinder diesel engine, putting out 220 horsepower and 920 newton-meters of torque. This grader is the big brother of the 919 and 921 graders. The extra attachments for this grader include a snow wing, a rear ripper, and front blade. Its all-wheel drivetrain improves its traction in wet conditions. The 922 has a hydraulic system, with pressure compensating valves for load sensing, giving it precise and consistent blade movement. If you're particularly tall, you'll appreciate the 30% larger cab with 1.9 meters of internal height. Did you know that the largest grader ever built was called the Echo? It was built by an Italian contractor back in 1980 weighed 400,000 pounds and used a 33-foot blade. Its engine put out an incredible 1,700 horsepower. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Anyway, back to our list. Number 8. The Volvo G946C This grader built by Volvo Construction Equipment was designed for high performance, quiet operation, and fuel efficiency. Although this grader is equipped with all-wheel drive, it also features Volvo's creep mode, which uses its front wheels only. Powered by a Volvo D70 engine that puts out 235 horsepower, this grader has the power to handle tough jobs. The grader itself weighs 17.3 tons and can exert an 8.6 ton downward pressure on its blade. Depending on the application you need, Volvo graders come in three different models, the 930, the 940 and the 960. The company, Volvo Construction Equipment, began back in 1832 when three men from Sweden decided to start building construction machinery. Number 7. Saini SMG200C-8 Built by the Chinese company Saini Group, this grader has been designed mainly for municipal and agricultural work. It's powered by an 8.9-liter, 253 horsepower Cummins engine with 949 newton meters of torque. The cabin on this grader features their unique 75 decibel silent mode technology. The blade on this grader has a length of 4.3 meters. At 20.7 tons, this grader is heavy and it's capable of exerting a 10.6 ton downward force on its blade. Would you believe that this grader has eight forward and six reverse gears? I wonder if it's into reverse driving like Mater from Cars. Number 6. The SDLG G9290 
the 9290 is the largest grader in the SDLG lineup. It's a 23 tons grader with a length of 10.1 meters, and it's able to exert a downforce of 8.1 tons on its blade. It's powered by a Volvo engine producing 290 horsepower. Large rear doors over the engine compartment make the maintenance work easier on this grader. A grader's mold board is the working part of the grader. It's the movable blade that's ring-mounted beneath the frame of the grader. Keeping the mold board in good condition is crucial for the efficiency of the grader, and as such, the mold board needs to be checked every 25 to 50 hours of operation. We're halfway there, and we've come to number 5. The Door Machina DM14. If you live in a country covered by snow, you'll need a grader to clear the roads. And the DM14 excels in these type of conditions. The DM14 is a 15.5 tons grader that's made in Russia. It measures 9.1 meters long and weighs in at 15.6 tons. It's powered by a V6 Yams diesel engine that produces 180 horsepower and 667 newton meters of torque. The front blade on this grader is 11 feet wide and can cut to a depth of 20 inches. That's perfect for removing large amounts of snow from the roads. Okay, number four, the John Deere 872G. No doubt you're familiar with John Deere tractors. The big green ones with the yellow writing. As it turns out, they make more machinery than tractors. They also make graders. Big and powerful ones, too. This grader weighs in at 21 tons. It has a blade pulling pressure of 22.4 tons. Wow, that's impressive. Powered by a 9-liter six-cylinder engine that produces 300 horsepower and 1,472 newton meters of torque. You're never going to run out of gears in this grader because it has eight forward and eight reverse gears. The overall length of the grader is 8.9 meters and wait for it. The fuel tank holds 110 gallons of diesel. That's 416 liters. You'll be standing there filling it up for an hour. Number three, Cat 24 Motor Grader AWD. Made in the United States by Caterpillar, this huge grader measures 16.5 meters long and weighs 73 tons. Its huge front blade measures 7.3 meters wide and a blade pulling force of 38.6 tons. This huge blade is capable of cutting to a depth of 21.6 inches. Normally, manufacturers are looking to decrease the weight of their vehicles, but in the case of graders, more weight is advantageous. The CAT 24, therefore, had a weight increase of 11%, bringing it to a hefty 73 tons. All this weight is powered by a 27-liter CAT 27 engine. Yes, you heard me, 27 liters. All those liters produce an incredible amount of power and torque, 564 horsepower to be exact. This makes it one of the most powerful graders available today. Number 2. XCMG GR5505. Made in China, this mammoth grader weighs in at a bone-crushing 75 tons and a length of 16.4 meters. Powered by a 599 horsepower engine that puts out 1400 newton meters of torque. Incredibly, its blade measures 7.3 meters wide and it can cut to a depth of 137 centimeters. It's one of the most advanced graders from China and it's used widely in open pit mines and other heavy load bulldozing. In 2019, the Rio Tinto Mining Company ordered five of the smaller GR2605 graders, and they were so impressed with them that they helped develop the more powerful GR5505 version. If you're wondering why the front wheels of a grader tilt sideways, that's because it increases the cutting efficiency of the blade when they are tilted to the side. Number 1. Komatsu GD955-7 Built in Japan by Komatsu, the 955 is their largest grader. It's an absolute monster and is designed for use in the mining sector and large road construction projects. Mining sites need well-graded roads to keep the mine operating efficiently and profitably. 
Graders like the Komatsu are crucial to maintaining their roads. Weighing in at 47 tons, this grader is able to exert a whopping 22-ton downward force on its blade. Its manufacturers claim that its blade down force is class leading, as is its operating weight. All this weight needs a powerful engine to back it up, and Komatsu have fitted one of their own 15.2-liter turbocharged engines. This engine produces 426 horsepower and 2,150 newton meters of torque. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a few new facts. You should check out the rest of our channel for more great videos and leave a comment if you'd like us to cover a specific topic. See you in the next one.